If you couldn't tell, I'm arrogant and ignorant, and obviously that means I live in the United States. The worst part about living in the United States is not all the politics, the misinformation, or the inability to see how well you have it. It's public restrooms. Public restrooms are the actual worst. Like, look, there's too many awkward social rules and there's too many people who are willing to break them for a conversation to lighten the mood or something, but honestly, they need to stop. It's just, it's annoying, okay? It, it, it bothers me. Look, if I'm at work, I don't need Michael Scott coming up to me and being like, yo, are those Jimbo's shoes? Damn, Jimbo, how you doing? And try to, and him trying to get me to say something which will eventually get him to say, that's what he said. Look, I don't want to hear it. The toilet, the man's throne is the one place where you can just relax. No one's rushing you. The only pressure is using the bathroom. And honestly, it's not that hard. That's what she said. <laughs> the bathroom should be the one place where you get to relax and have peace and solace. It should be so pleasant that you can almost see the birds chirping and hear the typical flute. But there are things that get in the way of that. Why are there these little slits between the door and the walls of the stall? Why are there big gaps at the top and bottom where you can see my shoes? Why is the coat hook in such an inconvenient spot? It's really annoying. Look, I just used the bathroom. My hands are dirty. I don't want to touch my backpack or jacket with dirty hands. What am I supposed to do? The other problem with public restrooms here in the US of A is just how gross and disgusting they are. There's I think a somewhat easy solution and it's just implementing bidets. Why why is that a posh thing in the US? I don't need to be some snob sipping tea hoo 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 all the time to be own a bidet or use one. A bidet is nice. It keeps me clean. You know what if somebody comes up to you and is like, I'll give you a dollar if you can tell me your butt's clean. What are you gonna do then? We don't use bidets in the US so you can't answer that truthfully. You're not getting that dollar. You're not broke. With a bidet, you can stay clean, you can stay happy, and you can get that bread. Toilet paper just isn't it either. At my university and at gas stations and at many office buildings, you have single ply. Why? Look, uh, gas stations I can understand. You're trying to cut costs to save, make more money. But my university, I pay you money to attend and you can't do better than single ply? That stuff tears, I'm gonna get poop on my hands. I'm not trying to touch my pants with poops when I pull my pants up. My final issue with public restrooms is urinals. I'm gonna say it as a guy, I hate urinals. I wanna sit down when I use the bathroom. I wanna relax, look, urinals are gross. There's too many public rules. Look, every guy knows this, that you always keep a space of one between another person when there are urinals. And if there's a lot of urinals, you guys go on the opposite ends. But then what do you do if you're the third guy who comes in? Now obviously you'd go towards the middle, but if it's an even number, you're gonna be closer to one other guy, and that other guy is now gonna be kinda of awkward and uncomfortable. And not every bathroom has these walls dividing the urinals, so somebody could just be a creep and like, you know, you, you know, look over, that's, that's weird. By the way, it's 2021. How come when I'm peeing in a urinal, there's still splashback? Why haven't we solved this issue? Honestly, get rid of urinals altogether, put in more toilets with floor to ceiling stalls that have no gaps in between and no tiny slits to make awkward contact with another person. And this will solve another issue, being in the last stall meant for handicapped people and seeing a wheelchair show up at the bottom. There is no greater fear on God's green earth than that. Oh my God, what an awkward situation. What do you even do? The amount of anxiety and pressure in those situations is worse than when you're in the checkout line when you're a child and your mom leaves real quick to grab something. So please, let's get rid of your notes. Let's fix bathrooms in the US of A. Please vote Shahmir Kenwar 2024.